Hey, man. What's going on? Have you ever heard of uh, John Harvey Kellogg? Yeah. Yep. He's the he he's the other guy in Talladega Nights with Will Ferrell. It's Will Ferrell and John Harvey Kellogg. He's the guy who does the face. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? He's that gif. The yeah. What's his real name? Uh, John Kelly <laughs> Kellogg. <laughs> John Harvey Kellogg. Yeah, 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 John Harvey Kellogg. Yeah, yeah. That's not his real name. That is his real name. <laughs> That's not. It. You're you're thinking of somebody else. I'm not. You're thinking of a different. Oh, are, are you want to talk about John C. Riley? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you weren't gonna you. let it go. You're gonna Google it. <laughs> I was because I just shut up. You and, brought it out, and my brain couldn't let it go. All right. I've had too Who's much. Who's John Harvey had way Kellogg? Way too much caffeine today. I don't need slap the machine. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Uh, there's a vibrating chair and also some weird stuff we do with yogurt. I do agree with that though. That Captain Crunch is responsible for the downfall of our society. <laughs> I see that. What? Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't I'm you. I'm not I doing don't, anything. I, did, I don't. Hmm. I'm about to send you the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> Things I learned last night. All right. You've had, I want you to know, just so you know, you've had 200 milligrams of caffeine today. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and that's what this does to you. So far today, I've had 550 milligrams of caffeine. And yeah, and I still have Bro, another 150 to take. You have a problem, man. Here's the deal uh, it's because of all this running you're doing. Yeah, no, you're no, running no. Too much. It's because uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal it's because uh, <laughs> Oh, this running. Oh, okay. It's because last night I was on the phone with you at like 10 p.m. and you're like, "Hey, I'm waking up at five to go run a bunch." I do that. Yeah, I know you do that, and you don't have to brag about it on camera. I didn't. I just wanted. But, to be, I wanted to be. But what I'm saying I is, you bring it up. 10, I. You're the 10. one who I was not yeah, even going to mention you it. You were like, "Hey, could you bring up naturally about how the fact that I was running this morning?" That's fine. You said, "Could you just that. naturally bring it up I in this say, podcast?" You, you know what I did though? I did take a nap right before this. I feel pretty energized do from you? that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I took a nap. is it that or the 500 milligrams of caffeine <laughs> uh, combo? I think power punch. You know what I'm saying? Power One, two. Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah. good. It's a good nap, and then just followed by a gallon of mm -hmm. uh, energy drinks. Yeah, that's what it, I have. A new energy drink that's zero milligrams of caffeine. It says on it works best after a full night's rest. Feel yep. energized with this and a full night's rest works every time. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh, anyways, John Harvey Kellogg. You might know him from Kellogg's. <laughs> is it real cereal? Though? Yeah. Um, kind is of. this going to be like a bad thing about him? Because I, I might, may or may not have like a brand partnership with them. Uh, it's not about him. It's not about. Well, well, here's so John Harvey Kellogg isn't Kellogg's, but he is Kellogg's. If that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> No, that's he's, good. That's so you're saying caffeine. this may or may not ever see the light of day. It's the caffeine talking. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Well, actually, it's funny you say that because today I actually did nix another topic about another brand that you're working with because I said that's too. This is too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we can talk about that. In the Was it the, the pet stroller? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. You're not gonna believe what they make those out of. <laughs> Another brand that I'm working with. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll okay. talk about it the after the film. All we right. Can't, we can't. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So John Harvey Kellogg. Um. So he's he's um the Kellogg guy. Uh. But not that one you're thinking of. Um. <laughs> so here's what he did. Uh. He was born 1852. Sure. Um. And uh, he was born in. What are you, you texting right now? <laughs> no, no, no. You're good. You're good. Keep going. You're good. Keep going. going he was right born now. in what year? <laughs> <laughs> no, keep I feel so going. offended. You're all right. Keep going. 1852. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you? Why do you put that phone away? <laughs> I want your undivided attention, bro. <laughs> okay. 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 okay ready, ready, sorry. Ready. Put that away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Born in, he was born in 1950, 1852 in Tyrone, Michigan. Okay. Um, and uh, he became a devout, or his family was devout Seventh Day Adventists. Uh, which sure. I, do you know much about the Seventh Day Adventist Church? Is that are they a sect of Mormonism or no? No, no, no. Not they, the same. I think they get they get 
I feel like they get confused with Mormonism a lot. They do. They're a sect of Christianity. They're like yeah. very extremist. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Super fundamentalist. Yeah. Denomination. Um, they believe uh, like all of, they believe your diet is really intertwined with your spirituality. Okay. So they believe an unhealthy diet makes you sin. And so it'll lead you to all sorts of other vices. If sure. you eat too yeah, much. Dude, you live in sin. Bro. <laughs> well, it's not the diet that's sinful. The diet makes you sinful is what they believe. Okay. So like if you have too much red meat in your system, then it makes you want to murder somebody. I don't know. That does like, make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like I ate a lot of I ate a lot of greens today. Bro. So I've been feeling like stealing. <laughs> I've got an urge. <laughs> what did you those eat green beans did you I had earlier. Green, did you eat green beans? <laughs> Um, uh, but they they also are really big on the Sabbath. That's why they're named Seventh Day Adventists. Right. Um, I actually did a uh a high school project about the Seventh Day Adventists, so I know a lot about them. <laughs> Quiz me real quick. Actually, <laughs> you think you oh, know. how many days do they think are in a week? <laughs> Six. But the seventh oh. is. I mean, the seventh is a special day. It's a bonus day, Got but they it. don't count it. So oh, okay. Six it's like days. A leap day. Bonus day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I can tell you about. My days are six hours uh, long. So. <laughs> All right, I wake up at 5 a.m. All right, by 11 a.m. my first day is over. 11 a.m. I'm starting day two. All right, by 6 p.m. I've lived two whole days and you're one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. multiply that over a week. I'm freaking. I'm uh, sorry. About three weeks out of you. Sorry, week. dude. The steroids were talking. <laughs> sorry, I don't dude, know. Just, oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like <laughs> you're like 49 then. Well, no, you're older than that. No, 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 no. Like 130. Oh, I go on Martian time. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So I you're live still on souls. You're still 29. <laughs> so. I survived off souls, baby. No. Uh, so in high school, uh, we did this project on Seventh Day of Venice. Honestly, okay. I might. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking, bro. Put that away. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey guys, I just want to let you know real quick. Uh, I April 30th, I'm doing uh, a show <laughs> in Bloomington, Indiana. We're live right I now. I am also doing a show in Joplin, Missouri, on May 7th. Do you so, know a better time for this? Um, I just wanted you to know that. Please, uh, please think about going. Don't go to his shows. They can't hear you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Just inappropriate times to advertise. Is that what you were trying to do earlier? Yeah. Gosh, I hate you. I hate your guts. Yeah, no. I got like six more to do though, so this is going to be a long episode. <laughs> Uh, no, in high school, uh, I, I might go. Here's what ha here's what happened. We had a project. Great. We had to write about the seventh day of Venice and do yep. a presentation and it was all a group of you project. Did, it was a group or you project. Had to choose. Well, everyone got a different denomination. Okay. Um, and it was a group project and it was me and four of my friends and they, we chose to make a video like explaining and you had to explain the foundation of the denomination, like how it started. Where is it at? And, and so we made a 15 minute video mm -hmm. and maybe one minute there was a speech I did in a sauna about why I wanted to start the seventh day of Venice church and it Barely touched on why the guy who started the Seventh Day Adventist Church actually didn't start it. Barely touched on it, but we got a B plus because the guy was like, honestly, our teacher was like, honestly, you did not complete the assignment, but it was entertaining, so I'll give you a B plus. <laughs> there was a, a day uh, in my history class where we were supposed to do presentations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, presentations were uh, instructions were pretty clear. You got to cover certain topics and all this stuff, um, and. Uh, they were supposed to be about three minutes long. Yeah. One kid in the class misheard that because um, he thought that it was supposed to be 30 minutes long. Oh, gosh. So he shows up. He's got like costumes. Anyway, he's got like <laughs> he's got like a whole like set prepared. He's, he's <laughs> trying to get an A on this project, right? And he's in the back of the room. Someone goes up, presents three minutes wrong, and the teacher goes, thank you so much. That was great. And you can see him start to go, what? <laughs> And he's like trying to after think, the third how one. Can I trim he's this? in the back and he's like freaking like he's like <laughs> trying to hide all of his props <laughs> and stuff. And he's like freaking tearing pages out of his <laughs> script, you know? Like he is editing on the fly. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah He yeah. went up, it was still fifteen minutes long. <laughs> and after where the teacher went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good day for all of us. Was it you? <laughs> No, I'm not an idiot, but uh, I do have that. I have that video on a DVD. Um, 
we there's a lot On of a music. DVD. There's a lot of music. I, I wouldn't even it. know where to put a DVD. I can I can figure it out. But I, I'll t- I'll get I'll get a release from everybody else in the video and see if we can put it on Patreon. We can't Great. put it public because it's we we'd have to get the rights to a lot of music. Oh, okay. <laughs> we broke a lot of rules. So, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything at all? Oh, the Seventh Day Adventist. Uh, so he this guy <laughs> he was a devout Seventh Day Adventist. Um, did uh, he was he in a sauna and did he start the Seventh Day Adventist or did you just want to tell that story? Well, no, I just I was like, oh yeah, the Seventh Day Adventist. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so he was a devout Seventh Day Adventist, and mm-hmm. he wanted to become a get out of here with that. I don't. Hey even guys, no, I am doing no, a I'm show not gonna, on April thirtieth. Uh, there's no no. I'm doing a show don't April thirtieth. The show doesn't exist. No, he's and not. May he doesn't even like Bloomington. He doesn't know how to spell it. Can't wait to be there. Yeah, he can We're wait. We're doing a podcast. Yeah, he can right wait. Now, but that's not important. Okay, this he's episode, gonna do this during this episode. Show. Doesn't even come out. He's gonna do this. Shows are he's gonna over. be in the middle of the show. That actually is a good time to do it. I'm, I've been speeding a lot lately. I've been trying to get pulled over because <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to do an inappropriate times to advertise. I just didn't like the first take I did. Yeah, you're gonna like that one a lot less. No, yeah, no, that's all. Right. I got it. Mm, all right, whatever, man. I might have to. I'm gonna redo it again. I'm gonna take my shirt off the next time. <laughs> Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> so See, I wasn't listening. Go ahead. <laughs> so he was a devout Seventh Day Adventist. Yeah. And instead of going and being like a missionary and like teaching people stuff or whatever about Seventh Day Adventist, sounds like you know what they do. Um, instead, what he did was he was like, "I'll become a doctor and I'll trick everyone into thinking this is medicine." And so that's what he did. And okay. so he became a doctor. Uh, and then he started what was called the sanitarium. Uh, which sounds a lot like sounds not uh, like a great place. A lot like what it is. Um, it was a weird cross between a like mental institution and a resort. So it was a place where you could go, um, and there would be this variety of treatments you could receive that were supposed to make you more healthy. Uh, like things, electric shock. Um, they didn't have any electric shocks. Um, but they had. Um, so they they did have a chair that. Could shake you sixty times per second. Um, sixty times per second. Yeah, so it was just a little wooden chair, not a massage chair, not a comfortable massage chair. Like you sixty see, times yeah, per time. second. Yes, sixty times per second. It's just uh, <laughs> like sixty times per second. Yeah, speed that up. I yeah, guess very that makes fast sense. shakes, shaking you real fast. Um, this is a vibrating chair. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say shake. I would say vibrate. Pace if it's, mixer. At what <clears throat> what pace is it not shaking anymore and it's just vibrating? I mean, that, I think at any pace it's also vibrating. Vibrate and shake is no. They're wrong. Wrong. Vibrate and shake is are cinnamon. Cin- it, cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, another another treatment. Synonym and cinnamon are. <laughs> Cinnamons, cinnamons, cinnamons. You're an idiot. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, so they uh, he had the light treatments, and so there were like these showers that you would get in, and they just had a bunch of light bulbs, um, and so you would soak in all the light. Science energy. is weird. Um, they had uh, <laughs> they had this one treatment where you would uh, eat half a pint of yogurt, and then you <laughs> would get the other pint enema. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and that was supposed to because you're going both ways. It would clean you out real well. Because uh, you're going both <laughs> ways. <laughs> Never say that again. Never in your life say that again. <laughs> it, what, how, do you have to talk people into this? Like you're a doctor, you know. No. You got like your little so, lab coat on. So like, the, welcome to the resort. Uh, there's a vibrating chair and also some weird stuff we do with yogurt. <laughs> uh. This is I'm pulling up real quick. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I ordered two pints. No, I know this is only one. I know. <laughs> 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 You'll get the other one. <laughs> like what the heck, dude? No, yeah, they they th- this uh, this was like you get a parfait <laughs> shoved up. <there. laughs> What are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) 
What benefits would that be? I mean, this 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 was. What year is this? Uh, this is like the 1910s. This is now. why people died when they were 14, bro. Like, no, 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 no. We do stuff like this now. Um, it's just it, this is the same stuff that you see like Hollywood actresses and actors do. They're like, it's this new like treatment that like solves all this stuff. Like, it's the same concept. It's just they make it sound a little bit more believable now than they did back then. Like instead okay. of saying it's yogurt, they're like, oh, it's this this steroid cream or something like that. Like they they changed what they called it and made it sound more medical. But it's the okay. same concept. I still just eat it either way. Yeah. I still- <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you like it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Uh, Speaking of future episodes, we have a ton of past episodes. Uh, We have a back catalog of well over 100 episodes. Uh, So check those out. My current favorite is Nellie Bly. She was a journalist from the early 1900s who totally changed the industry, especially for women in the industry. Super cool story, but also kind of crazy. Uh, some of the things that she did. Uh, we had a lot of fun in that episode. So check that out. Uh, don't for- forget to subscribe, but ultimately just thanks for being here. But but it, they their 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 patients can I have the steel had, cut oats and steroid cream, please. Thank you. They had presidents and athletes and um, like looking through their notable patients, Thomas Edison, Amelia Earhart, Henry Ford, uh, the uh, it, it, what's the I know I heard this in a different list. They're not in this list. The um, the the rail yard people. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Tugboat people. <laughs> Tugboat people. I'm rail talking, workers? No, not rail workers. The the uh Rockefellers. Oh. Uh, and so like they had they had a notable list of people. They had like the 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 1900 influencers. Yeah. The really wealthy people would come and they would spend a weekend here okay. and they would get all their treatments. Well, I almost forgot my most favorite treatment. They had a slapping machine, which is exactly what it sounded like. It was just a piece of leather that would just slap you in the face over and over again. Like, but it was a machine. What's the just, idea behind these things? I get the blood the, flowing. This I is like guess. Lux- I don't, but this isn't this isn't like an like this is this is like a luxury. They were. It was supposed to be holistic treatments. So here's I, I've got some pictures. I'll show you. So here's here is the grounds of a class that they're doing. This is like a mm-hmm. yoga class or something. Um, and they're teaching them whole body health, and that that was that was his thing. Is he thought that a lot of what like physical health was at the time was just garbage, and so he taught a lot of like aerobics class type stuff, and then diet stuff, and then weird random things that were like sure. natural medicine that was not proved and didn't really do anything, but he said it cured everything. These are breathing exercises. So he built this massive campus. Uh, Holy for the sanitarium. Cow. Uh, it's just this. Where is this at? Uh, this was in, uh, let me double check, uh, Battle Creek, Michigan. So this doesn't exist there anymore. No, yeah, this has been or torn they, down. Or they turned There's, it into the mall. Well, <laughs> there actually is a couple. I think that back building, that back tower is still in there. But this whole um, front part was torn yeah, down? Yeah, they've torn it down. And like they used it for something else for years and then they tore it down and now it's gone. That's a huge um, building. But at, at any time, you could see uh, uh, John Harvey Kellogg uh, just riding around the property on his bicycle. Um, That's John Harvey Kellogg. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he would ride around. He is his- a cross between Colonel Sanders and the guy who owns Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the perfect balance of those two characters. He's not one way or the other. He yeah, is the. He's, he's Colonel right, Sanders. He's right on the line. And he is uh, what's his face? Yeah. Jurassic Park man. Jurassic Park guy. Uh, but yeah, you could just find him at any time. Oh wow! Riding his bicycle around the around the campus. And what you was? You know, I have a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you also accidentally started a cult. I did actually start a cult. <laughs> um, what do you do? You know, like if you find yourself being the leader of a cult. I can't give you advice for that. I've never been there. Anyway, say it with me, guys. <laughs> Jaren's, Jaren's light, light is, is my might. might. Sorry, 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 sorry. Put it away. <laughs> Don't put put it away. <laughs> so yeah, I actually started a cold. Okay, so he's just riding around. Uh, so yeah, he rides that the bicycle. I, on if the I campus. was if I was to make this place, you know, yeah. I'd be like, I don't need a slapping machine. <laughs> my whole job. 
So there's enough revenue coming in to build this giant place, though. Oh yeah, he's making bank. That's what I'm saying. Charging these celebrities and stuff tons and dude, of money to stay like, the weekend. Man, it would be so fun to just be like, I don't need a slapping machine. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Hello. Like to convince Welcome. someone that slapping them is good for them, <laughs> that itself is is terrorism. You know, like that is <laughs> that is so sketchy. It is that it's like that. Oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gaslighting everybody. How many people were like? Do no one lived there? I mean, there might have been people who had like residences there, like because they were. But it was it was meant to be like a common stay there. Yeah, yeah. You stayed there for a weekend, got all your services. People viewed it like like a spa. Like I'm gonna go get my treatment. They're gonna do the stuff, and then I'm gonna head back to my to my life. Um, In Michigan. Yeah, in Michigan. Okay, we're rode up to Battle Creek, Michigan. Um, But yeah, you could see him riding around on his bicycle, and he would go up to where people were getting the treatments, and he would. This is my favorite part about him. Is he would ride around and his little brother William would be on foot following him on his bike, <laughs> taking notes, like writing down the notes that he would orate to him. And so he'd be riding his cycle. His brother, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and the notes are terrible because I don't know if you ever tried to walk and write something at the same time. I mean, illegible. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're so bad. <laughs> And he goes, I don't know what you meant by cinnamon. Synonym. <laughs> Synonym. That's why they oh, got it. That's why they ended up with the stuff that they had. Like the slapping machine was just his team's attempt to read the handwriting. They're like slapping. Yeah, machine? he shows up on a bike one day. He goes, What is <laughs> this? It's the slapping machine. Is that chair you vibrating? <laughs> no, it's it, no, it's shaking. And he got <laughs> oh, oh. It's supposed to vibrate. <laughs> You're putting the yogurt where? <laughs> That's not even close to what I said. That's not even close. <laughs> but but, are, but <laughs> it's it's already people are paying for people it. People are paying for it. So, so it's like I you can't it's walk it back. Doing. Because then you make the Rockefellers look stupid with, <laughs> with yogurt in their butts. You know? <laughs> you can't be like, that was wrong. Sorry, that was a clerical error. <laughs> You're just stuck with it. You now. just gotta like over clarify. Do not try this at home. Do not. It's not a thing. Um, oh no. So he started writing books about. Like Seventh Day Adventist stuff and how the health world relates to it, um, and um, the Seventh Day Adventists started reading his books, and the like organization of the the church was like, "Hey, this isn't right." <laughs> yeah, we don't like this. Like, we don't like that you're writing this stuff. Uh, and so he ended and up like, getting too bad. He goes, "I'm not writing it." <laughs> William, <writing it. laughs> yeah, you don't like William. You're fine with me. William's the problem. He's still on his he's bike. Still, he's just he, riding circles like around this him. conference room. He's just riding around the table of the conference. He's like room. that kid in breaking bad. Everybody's in the conference bike. room just like, okay, and yeah. he's like, it's not <laughs> big, and it's not big enough for his bike either. Like he's bumping into the walls. He's knocking Everything. stuff off this, you know, <laughs> ringing the bell. Like if someone yeah. says something he doesn't like, he rings the bell. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> sorry, excuse me. Just sorry. <laughs> Why did you slap him? It's good oh, for you. Yeah, he just looked a little tired. He looks sick. Yeah, this, that'll that'll fight the germs in him. Um, so he got it. He uh, he so got were disfellowshipped. Like, oh, okay. So wow. they kicked him out. That that bad, huh? Yeah, they kicked him what out. What did they disagree with? Was um, it the yogurt? Well, I think I think it started with them being like, "That's weird. Everything you're doing is weird." Yeah, and I think that's where it started. And then he got into a little. He dabbled in some pantheism stuff, and that's when got they were it. like, "And they were like, no, they're like, get out of here." Um, and so yeah, he got he got disfellowshipped. Um, and then after that, he got really interested in food, and so he's like, he's like, I wonder if I can make food like I make health services uh, <laughs> at the sanitarium. And okay. So he started a little sanitarium bakery. Uh, and he started experimenting, and so he had like a little kitchen, like an industrial kitchen, and in, on the grounds, and we experiment with stuff. So he started making peanut butter substitutes, 
um, and that that got successful. He started having that on the grounds. He started making uh, meat substitutes, even uh, Impossible Burgers. That they actually revived that. That was the thing. <laughs> No, but he was making some meat substitutes, similar concept with like uh, different red beans meat and bad stuff for like that. you. So let's try to figure out. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, one day he was making this. Is one of the weird things that he believed and was very very passionate about. Yeah, was that the more the stronger the flavor profile of a food that you eat the more it triggers things in your body that are going to lead you to sin. So you, so you need to eat bland food. Yeah, he then. said your food needs to be bland to make you more bland is this, also. You're saying that this is the, this is like Kellogg cereal Kellogg though. Like this eventually becomes like Kellogg. Uh, I, I mean, eventually. Yeah, eventually. So I'm saying he would lose his mind if he knew that Captain Crunch <laughs> He's like, good. Yeah. He goes, that's way yeah. too many flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of flavors in there. And he's okay. Yeah, he's, I do agree with that though. That Captain Crunch is responsible <laughs> for the downfall of our society. <laughs> and he did too. Uh, <laughs> so he was like, he's like, I want to experiment with flavors and I wanted to be bad. Yeah. And so he started making this like uh, it, it, this was also happening at a, at a time in the country where there was this uh, uh, this dis- condition that was going on. Um, I'm going to double check this and make sure I get this right. Um, dyspepsia. Uh, have you heard of this? Yeah, that's what that's when restaurants only have coke. <laughs> what is this dyspepsia? I'm living in a dyspepsian, I'm living in this dyspepsian this society, society, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a dyspepsia novel. It's just the normal life. It's just it's very boring. The only thing is that Pepsi was never created, all right? And so there's no Pepsi man to save the world from getting freaking demolished, you know? I in mean, a world. where would you get jets? In a world, in a world without, without Pepsi, Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. one boy. <laughs> yeah, he would never get to school on time. You would never make it. Yeah. Um, so no, you're dyspepsia. putting that Pepsi where? Dyspepsia. <laughs> dyspepsia <laughs> was a common issue in this era because it was one of the, it was the first era really in human history where um, jobs became stationary. Um, okay. And so people were starting to work jobs where they were seated. Or whether they were standing in one spot all day sure. in a factory, um, and for the average person throughout history, breakfast was something that either they didn't do. Did you just brush past what dyspepsia actually is? Well, I'm getting to it. Okay, I'm getting to it. Breakfast was um, was either something you didn't do, or it was leftovers from the night before. Yeah, or you woke up really early and made like these grains. What did you eat for breakfast when you were a kid? When I was a kid, yeah. Um, I I think it. I mean, it depended what time frame you look at. Cereal was very common. Okay. Um, eggs and toast was very I common. Don't I, I don't remember eating a lot of cereal growing up. To be honest, I ate a lot of cereal. Yeah, up. I ate a lot of cereal when I got to college. A lot of cereal when I got to college. I ate a lot of cereal. Uh, toaster strudels. Strudels. I did love me some toaster strudels. Pop tarts. I was a big Strudes guy. Strudes pop tarts. And those were good. Uh, oh, and those, then those mini waffles where they were like. The waffles put together. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And ego waffles in general. Then when I got into high school, my breakfast was a pack of ramen noodles. This is not a joke. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, pack of cigs. Yeah, I ate a couple you of know, those for breakfast today. Just <laughs> pop them up. Oh yeah, we were all eating them. Yeah, we're right, all, guys. <laughs> right, guys. We're all eating cigarettes. We're all eating right? cigarettes. <laughs> Uh, no, I would eat ramen noodles, but I Lego wouldn't. Lego Marlboro. <laughs> but I wouldn't cook them. I'd eat the dry noodles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you did that before. No. Oh, dude, I would like crush up the whole bag and then you open it and you put the powder in there and you shake it up. And so that was you, you vibrate it up <laughs> and uh, and then you just eat the dust covered dry nudes. Oh, I have seen that. I've seen that. I never did that. I was never a huge fan of ramen. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I was too rich for that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, not all of us had screen doors, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it was glass. Uh, <laughs> it was locked all the time too. <laughs> That's what it was for. Uh, so there to be locked. Tim's a weird person who locks his like screen door and his door door. Yeah. Why not double layer it? Because no one's breaking into your home. They saw your car, dude. They didn't. They, they were like, "There's did. nothing valuable inside <laughs> that house." <laughs> I took a picture with my Honda Civic today. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? I like set up my phone and is put it, it on missing? a timer. Is and it then like... I got down and like posed with it. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you should put that on some missing posters around town. <laughs> <laughs> missing 2002 2003 thank you very much oh man hey thanks for checking out our show if you like it and you want to support be a part of what we're doing here you can do that by becoming a patron uh, what happens there is you get to be in the community uh, we have a discord with our hosts and producers we have a lot of fun we're super active in there every day you get access to ad free content a week before everybody else and we have a zoom every month with our patrons uh, we hang out we eat pizza we get to know you a little bit better uh, it's a blast and there's a ton of other uh, different benefits like merch discounts uh, birthday messages things like that that are super cool uh, if you want to be in that uh, you can just text Tillin to 66866 uh, and that'll get you right in there um, if not we're just super glad that you're here uh, and thanks for watching our show uh, no but dyspepsia um, what people had was honestly a very heavy breakfast is what people were eating at the time because okay. it was stuff from the night before or grains like heavy grains and then they would go do physical labor all day and so their body yeah. would be able to break it down. Well, then when people transition to stationary jobs, their bodies weren't breaking down their breakfasts like they used to. Okay. And so people were having the same diet, but then they were having this severe um, abdominal pain, um, belching, bloating, heartburn, nausea, and vomiting. That's the list I just read. Got it. Um, so people were burping on the job a lot and everyone was real. So it's just what it. you do every day. <laughs> it's just your life. You have... Uh, but it became it became like this epidemic that um, people were concerned, like what's happening with our bodies? Like, why are we all of a sudden all like stomach sick all the time? Um, and it was because their breakfasts were too heavy, but nobody had f quite put words to that yet. Okay, um, but there was a community in medicine that was starting to realize that's what was going on. Sure. And Kellogg was like, oh, that's what I've try been trying to tell everybody. Like you eat, I've been saying this for years. You eat like a bunch of animals and that's why you behave like a bunch of animals. And he's like, so <laughs> and so if you eat food, not that's judgmental <laughs> though, in a very loving way, <laughs> you eat like ghouls <laughs> and therefore you behave like ghouls. <laughs> Come to my resort garbage in garbage out. Ew. <laughs> uh, and so he started making this this patty. That was just like a grain patty. Um, okay. And that was all it was. Was it was just some grains that was hardened into a patty. Um, and it was disgusting. Rice and cakes. it was uh, well, it wasn't rice. Uh, it it was closer to like a chunk of granola, but it was so hard oh, bar that, that it was sense. like impossible to eat or chew. You had to suck on it. Yeah, people <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah, no, it's, it's, but it, you can't even break it. It's so well, that strong. Was, that so you just have this granola bar sticking out of your mouth like a cigar, <laughs> right? And you're just, I'm just waiting for it to melt. Uh, well, that was one thing that he was really passionate about too was chewing. Uh, and he like, actually you shouldn't have to do that. He actually had a song that would play in his cafeteria that was a rhythm for chewing. Uh, and so you were supposed to chew 40 chews before you swallow. Turns out it's staying alive. <laughs> ha, 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 it's the same thing for CPR. <laughs> Yeah, so he was really big on chewing. So he's like, "That's okay. Like, if this is really hard, because you're supposed to chew a lot, it kind of encourages you to chew things." Forty a lot. chews. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Uh, <laughs> he'd ride, he'd ride up on his bike, and then he'd see you at thirty nine, and he'd stop, and he'd be like. "I'm trying to do forty right now, and it's taking so long to even get to 15. He's like, "You." You only chewed thirty eight times before that swallows. You son. were counting. <laughs> William was taking a tally behind me. Forty times. What are you eating that needs to be chewed? Forty times. Well, what he wanted, he's he said your sh your food, no matter what it is, should be a paste before you swallow. And that's the word he used. He used the word paste. <laughs> so. I don't like that. So he was making these these patties and everybody hated them. They were like, they're like, hey, like we get like this is like probably good for you, but it's gross. And he was like, let me, let me try to make it a little bit better. So he crunched it up into granola, granola. and that's where granola kind of started. And then uh, some other people were like, hey, what if we made this not suck? And that's how granola happened, um, but they, he kept they making it, it in suck. the yogurt. Well, he didn't put <laughs> no, they didn't put it in the yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> They put it in one of the yogurts. 
<laughs> but not the one you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, he was making a batch of these one day. Sure. And they got away from him uh, and he left a batch out on the counter. Uh, and <laughs> what do you mean they got away from him? They just crawled away. <laughs> no, well, the day got away from. Him. Oh, okay. So something happened. He had to walk away. Left a batch out. He had to ride away. He's always he ride on his bike. Away. <laughs> He's in the kitchen. In the kitchen, <laughs> biking around, <laughs> making rolling things out on this bike. His balance was crazy. <laughs> 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 he's, he's doing. He's doing like the. He's doing like BMX things where he's yeah, like on he's the back wheel the and he's rollers. just bouncing around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, his core <laughs> was insane, dude. He was ripped. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was because of his diet, <laughs> not the bike. Yeah. All he eats are what he calls grain patties. Grain patties. <laughs> I call them grain patties. Mm. Wow, well, <laughs> Kellogg, you're not good at marketing. Uh, so he he made all away this, from him. He had all this granola out. Or they get burnt. Left it out overnight on the counter. Came came overnight back. Overnight oats. And they were Soft. fermented. And he was like, "That's okay. weird," uh, and but he was like, "I'm gonna try it anyways." It's sure the <laughs> the batch is probably fine, and so he cooked it anyways, and it came out flaky and weird. And but he was like, "But this is much easier to chew and swallow than what I had before." Was this corn flakes? And then he yeah uh, he subbed out the wheat for corn, and corn flakes were born. Um, <laughs> wow! And uh, people at the sanitarium loved them, and he marketed them. As he said, this is a bland enough breakfast item, and he c- called it cereal because that's what it was. He said, "This is a bland enough like breakfast cereal where if you eat it, it'll help you um, maintain your chastity." Uh, that's how he marketed it. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> he said? He said, "If it's he said it's bland enough where you're gonna go the whole day." <laughs> and you're going to be fine. maintaining your chastity. <laughs> he said that will protect you from sin. <laughs> Did he say maintaining your yes, chastity? Yes. He, he specified. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and uh, which was something he was very passionate about. He he chastity. Strongly, yeah, he strongly believed that um, even if you were married, procreation was the only reason. Uh, and so he was he was very adamant about it on the grounds like they had some strict rules. So he made <laughs> he had a four. On he the four had a rule. cereal that he was <laughs> <laughs> this will make you. Yeah, 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 and so he was marketing it that way in the sanitarium. His brother on the other hand, sure his brother has been with him this whole time William and William though is a pretty smart business mind. William yeah. has been kind of the engine behind running the business for for uh, 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 John this whole thing was evangelism. Like yeah. he's like he's like I'm helping save the world from their sins. Um, for William, like, I made a cereal that makes you not. It's so <laughs> bland, so boring. <laughs> it's so just cereal. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't imagine eating something that's like nah. I'm good. You know, like I I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the concept. William, the whole time, he was the business mind behind the operation. He's like, I got to give this and to the public. So John, John was working on on the sanitarium stuff. Sure. And William was like, I will make it profitable. Marketable. I will make it. Yeah, I'll market it. I'll make it grow. Um, but they had a they had a a rough relationship because William Didn't knew how bike. to market things. <laughs> yeah, he also he's like, can I get a bike? Yeah. And like, he's like, how are you going to take notes a, if you're riding a bike? You're an idiot. Yeah, what are you dumb? <laughs> uh, but no, William. William wanted to make things more marketable. You have a unicycle, and he. <laughs> <laughs> you show up to the spa, and freaking Colonel <laughs> Sanders rides out on a bicycle, followed by, by a guy on a unicycle. <laughs> by, hold on, let me show you what his brother why looks like. Him, why together. did he just get him a sidecar? <laughs> his brother looks like a villain, dude. His brother looks like a freaking. He looks like a Batman villain. You know what I'm saying? He does. He looks like Penguin. This guy looks like he wants a cereal that does the other thing. You know, like he's like, yeah, give that to the public. That's a bad picture of Joseph or John Kellogg, by the it way. It is. It is. Yeah. His mustache. He, looks, makes like, him he look. looks like a statue in that picture. Yeah. Yeah. And his clothes are drawn on. That's not. That's not. That, <laughs> that tie, is a little suspect. There's no way that's a real picture. Here's okay. The, here he is. Here's it. 
Anyways, um, so his brother, uh, his brother was like, we could make this more marketable. This, there's something to this. Okay. There's this dyspepsy thing going around, and he's like, he's like, he's like, we can take this to the market and sell it outside of the sanitarium. And he's like, I guarantee you, we can make a killing off of it. And John was like, no, I'm not in it for outside money. Of the sanitarium, as in like in stores, not like out front <laughs> of the sanitarium. <laughs> yeah, not a yeah. little lemonade stand. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. I'm good. We can take this. We can sell it outside the gates. It's the Roar Twenties. Have hey, your kids been getting into trouble? Right up, we got cereal. Right up. <laughs> Take your kids' personality straight out of their life. <laughs> they eat this cereal and they're boring as heck. <laughs> Step right up. He, well, what he said was he said, he said, we could take this public. There's something here. This dyspepsia thing is a huge deal. Everybody's looking for better things to eat for breakfast that are good for them. And you just um, made it and you did it. And he's like, so we need to take it to the market. We'll Put make a killing in it. John says, no, I'm not in it to make money. I'm in it to save the world. And he's like, well, we can this save the world. How we this. save the world. Yeah, he's like, he's like, William was like, okay, but one thing though has to change. And he was like, it kind of sucks. Like it's not good to eat. And so people are not going to eat it because it kind of sucks. We got to put sugar in it. He's like, well, we got to put some sugar in it. John lost his mind. Yeah, he was like, he was like, he's like, that defeats the whole purpose. That's the whole thing. The sugar will make people the opposite of chastised. Yeah, (laughs) chastised. (laughs) He's like, the sugar will send him down the wrong direction. You can't, you can't put that into people's system uh, because it'll, it'll. That's that's what's wrong. So what you're saying is, John Kellogg (laughs) created a cereal. That was like designed to save society from itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. His brother put sugar in it, and that's how we get the sixties. <laughs> Am I yeah. understanding you correctly? Yeah, you're, you're pretty. Is close. that pretty much it? You're pretty close to right. Yeah. So his brother broke off. Yeah, I was and like, he I'm started doing anyway. Yeah, he started Battle Creek. Uh, battle. Were there other cereals that existed, or is this this is cereal? This was the beginning of cereal. A bunch of copycats came out. Sure. Um, after this, but yeah, uh, he started. I can't even remember what it was called. It was it Battle Creek like bakery or something like that. I sure. Um, and they started making Kellogg's cereal. Okay. Um, and the cornflakes. They added cereal to it, and they added sugar to it. John, uh, yeah, they added cereal to it. They added <laughs> sugar to it, <laughs> and John disowned them. Uh, John was so mad. And they actually got into a fierce legal battle. He's like, I bet you work on the seventh day too. <laughs> he's like, no, I would never do that. Bro. I would never do that, brother. I he's just like, put I just put sugar in the cereal. He's like, he's like, I had to get our other brother to take. It's a slippery me. slope. Oh, they got another brother. <laughs> he's like, I had to get her. Yeah, they got a lot of brothers. This is the 1910s. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, and he's like, I had to get this guy. I had to get Jeremiah to take this for guy. Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how close they were as a family. <laughs> I had to get this guy <laughs> to take Jer- get Jeremiah to take notes for me, and he can't keep up. He's 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 too far from me. He can't, he can't hear even anything. read. He's like he's like you. Can, he's like you know what you came up with with your bad handwriting. You can't wait till you see what he came up with with his bad handwriting and his inability to hear me. He's too far away. <laughs> so the guy in this fierce legal battle. Sure, John is still making his cornflakes yeah. and selling them at the sanitarium, and they're very bad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that, I see that look in your eye. I see that. What? Don't you what? dare! Don't you dare! Don't I'm you? Not I do I did. I don't. Huh. Mm, I'm about to send you the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just, just say to me? I don't know. I just needed something to up the ante and let you know how inappropriate <laughs> I'm about this is. To send you to the principal's <laughs> office. <laughs> What are you talking about? Speaking of that, though, uh, Ray's been substitute teaching, and uh, she's grading a test. She sent me a picture of this test today, mm-hmm. where it was like, um, you know, Carlos is doing this on a camping trip. Describe what uh, he might need to, whatever. It's like I write a paragraph. As we're <coughs> teaching kids how to write paragraphs, this mm-hmm. kid wrote, "Nah, this too much." That was his answer. He submitted that. He submitted nah this too much. He did use the correct two with two O's though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but there I was you go. Like, At least dang, you got that I love that kid. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this too much. Nah, this too much. Whatever. Film your your promo or whatever, man. Film I'm literally do not promo. doing anything. I'm texting it, right you, now. You, I was so on no, I was just texting somebody. I got a great cereal idea. <laughs> What are you? Wait, look at you assuming stuff, dude. 
All right, whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. <laughs> okay, so all right. Hey guys, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even filming. I don't even have my phone out. <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> so <clears throat> he started a company, and Kellogg's was in the name. He was selling the cereal with Kellogg in the name. The Kay. sanitarium is the Kellogg Sanitarium. The Kellogg Got Sanitarium it. is also selling cornflakes. But their names are both Kellogg, they're brothers. So they're both called Kellogg, and they're selling a very similar co- product well, that they're marketing as sin, Kellogg. And yeah. one, one leads, leads to, to not salvation. Sin. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it becomes this decade long legal battle to find out who gets to use the name Kellogg. Okay. Um, which was an interesting situation because they were both Kellogg. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Kellogg. When when William went and started the cereal company, Kellogg became a household name really quickly because it was like a massive success and everybody sure. was eating Kellogg cereal. Um, however, John was using the name Kellogg for decades before that with the sanitarium, and he created the the the, the cereal, cereal, but he didn't patent it or anything. Yep. Um, what ended up happening is the the courts eventually ruled in favor of William because William had greater notoriety, even though he was second to the game. He had greater notoriety, so he got to keep the name Kellogg's and they yeah. renamed the the brand Kellogg's and he started making all kinds of cereals and built an empire selling these sinful cereals um, and that's what led to society being the way it is today. Sinful we are cereal? eating this cereal with all this sugar. It's destroying us on the inside um, and it, it goes against everything that John Harvey Kellogg uh, ever wanted, which is probably a good thing because he was a pretty bad person. They're um, great. <laughs> No, yeah, John Har- John Harvey Kellogg ended up being like it, <clears throat> after this, he went down a spiral. Um, his the sanitarium eventually closed in the 30s. Um, it got shut down without his brother there to run the business side of things. They went steeply in debt, and then the Great got Depression it. hit, and then they went even steeper in debt. Sure, um, he started a couple other foundations that were deeply prob- problematic, um, dealing with like eugenics type things, um, and so. Uh, he ended up really, really tarnishing his reputation while William built up a great reputation for himself. Um, that is uh, 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 really the reason why breakfast looks the way it is today. Um, him yeah. and a battle with um, the um, dairy and pork industry basically is the reason why breakfast is what it is. They all kind of got yeah, because bacon, bacon, yeah. And so him, uh, Kellogg, and then those two industries got into this battle because. In the dyspepsia era, everybody was like fighting to be. We got to be food. the solution for yeah. breakfast, and so everybody was was finding these people to um, help write these medical journals and reasons why this is the best thing to eat during breakfast. He ended up patenting, or not patenting, but trademarking and using um, in his advertising the phrase that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, um, and it's been in our vocabulary ever since. Um, and he kind of, I, I don't want to say won the battle because obviously, like. Bacon and eggs are still a staple <laughs> in breakfast. Sure, but I mean, cereal didn't exist before him, and now it's something that is in yeah, ubiquitous every breakfast aisle. Yeah, and so um, that war was a big deal. He actually hired um, Sigmund Freud's brother to help run his marketing. Okay, <laughs> and uh, his brother. I might do an episode on him. Actually, his brother was a marketing genius because he just tricked everybody's psychology. Oh, um, sure. He knew, he knew how people's brains worked and he he manipulated them. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> that could be an interesting one, um, but uh, yeah, so John Harvey Kellogg. Pretty bad person at the end of the day. Weird okay. person through at the start of the day. But this he had is a cool mo- bike. his just motives were just really. Yeah, they were skewed. Huh? Uh, yeah, 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 and, and then uh, but his brother took the. You know, Took the concept and built a pretty good good company out of it. You know, like Kellogg's, like they own like a lot. Yeah, they they like they own Pringles. Yeah, they're a modern empire. They own a lot of stuff. Yeah, Pringles were the same thing. They left it on the table for three days and it curved and it curved. Yeah, yeah, just a whole potato. Well, that was it. Was actually the seventh day. It was the seventh day and it started well, to curve. And what they used to do was they were like, you know, hands lead to sins. So we gotta get rid of those. So they had <laughs> tubes over their arms, you know. And then William was like, I bet I could put some potato chips in those. You know. And anyway, he was, like, he was like, "You could see a lot better if you had hey pickles." Hey guys, fries. Uh, oh I am just letting you know that in uh, the end of May, I will be 
fiddling off the devil in Georgia. So just want to give you guys a heads up about that one. Hey, uh, thanks for checking out this episode. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe or watch some more episodes or some clips. Um, but then I, I need to make this like 20 seconds. My producer said it has to be longer, so I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit. And is this long enough, Connor? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs>